Hello. In this activity, we are asked to draw an N input weighted summer and then to analyze the circuit to find a expression for the output. So what we are trying to do is to use an operational amplifier to create a circuit where we can do weighted summing of inputs. So a linear combination of the inputs. One way that you can start thinking about this is that if you start with an inverting amplifier that you're already familiar with, and you think about superposition, this is the first input, R1, what is the output? Well, the output is going to be minus Rf over R1 B1. Well, what about if we were to add here another input? The normal system R2 P2. If you apply superposition and you ground V1, the output is going to be minus Rf over R2 times V2. And you could continue doing that, right? You have a third input, V3, R3. What is the output? You apply superposition. We ground V1 and V2. Those are granted to ground. Both these are zero. So the output would be minus Rf over R3 times V3. So you can continue adding input voltages, V, you want to call this VK, K input voltages, this is RK. And we have to find an expression for the output voltage. In this case, uh, the easiest way to do it would be applying superposition, right? The output, V output is equal to we already know the inverting amplifier. If we ground all the inputs, right? This will be minus Rf over R1 times V1. So minus, oops, minus Rf over R1 times V1, you can keep doing it. You ground V1 and you apply it for V2, RF over R2 times V2, minus RF over R3 times V3, and you just keep going, that, 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 minus RF over R k times vk or minus r f over r1 v1 plus r f r2 v2 plus r f r3 v3 plus dot 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 Rf over Rk times Vk. And so that's applying superposition. Now, I want to make sure that we are also able to analyze the circuit using the general strategy for analysis of operational amplifier circuits that we have been using. So if you recall, our strategy is to so apply nodal analysis of current law to the most complex node. In this case, this is the complex node that we have here, right? This is it. Vn, the node at the inverting input of the operation amplifier. And then if we have a negative feedback, we can equate the Vn and the Vp, the voltages at the inverting input and the non-inverting input. 
And for that, remember, we need to have negative feedback, meaning there needs to be a path from the output back to the negative input. So you need to check that. Checks. So let's go ahead and do this analysis. If we apply Kirchhoff current law, we have the sum of the currents leaving the node is equal to zero. I'm talking in this case about the node Vn. Okay. So let's do the analysis there. So we have the current living this way, which will be Vn minus V1 over R1 plus we have the current leaving this node Vn minus V2 over R2 plus the current leaving this node <laughs> Vn minus V3 over R3. Remember, current is different in, in, in potential voltages. So you have a voltage here, you have a voltage here, difference in potential divided by resistance. Okay. Plus the current through this branch here, right? That, 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 plus, that's is equal to Vn minus Vk divided by Rn plus, there's one more, and it's the current from Vn and V output, right? Plus V m minus v output divided by rf is equal to zero okay so that's step one our second step was that if we have negative feedback we have v n is equal to vp meaning the operation amplifier adjusts the output voltage as to make the voltages in the inverting input terminal and the non-inverting terminal very close together. And so in this case, the non-inverting, notice it is connected to ground. And so this is equal to zero, which means that we can, this Vn is zero everywhere here, zero, 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 zero. And so what you find is that you get the only output is here. You get V output over RF is equal to the other expression that you have there, that is minus one over R1 times V1 plus one over R2 V2 plus one over R3 times V3 plus that, 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 1 over Rk times Vk. Or if you multiply these two, cancel here, you have Rf. V output is equal to minus Rf times this. Oops. and you get the same expression as before, right? So we can either express it like this, or express it like this, the output voltage. So again, this circuit enables you to do linear combinations of the input voltages and you basically scale them by the different R's that you have. Now, if all of them are the same, you are just adding them together. Thank you.